Hey guys, Connie here. I am four weeks post-op from my uh, recent mommy makeover surgery. And don't mind me, I'm gonna record this video while I actually work on something and it'll be good because I can show you guys as I do it. So I literally just got off the phone with my post-op nurse, Jennifer, from Dr. Kara's office. Um, good news is, is that everything's healing really, really well. Um, I was given the uh, green light to start um, wearing a underwire bra plus my sports bra. So um, if you're having a breast lift, they have you wear a very tight um, sports bra. And then once your incisions are healing well enough, then they allow you to do the underwire bra plus the sports bra on top. So the underwire bra is gonna help with forming underneath the breasts moving forward. And then the sports bra is gonna continue to give me that really awesome compression. So I'm actually wearing both bras right now. Um, and good news is, is that my old double D uh, 36 bra actually still fits me. It just fits me differently now. It's more full my breasts in it. So I'm literally still the same bra size. The other good news, and that's why I'm kind of doing this as I'm talking to you guys, is that my tummy tuck um, incision is healing so nicely that I'm actually allowed to start using some silicone star sheets. Um, so I picked up these ones off of Amazon. Um, they had really, really good reviews and they were a more affordable option because I know that the Silagen ones and some of the other brands are really pricey. Um, I think these ones were only about $30 and they are, um, about a two month supply it says. So yeah, in the package you get one, two, three, four strips and each strip is about six inches long. Um, and I was just reading the instructions and it said that you could open them up and place them on clean scars. I'm trying to see how to open it. Um, so I had just got it out of the shower, my hair is still wet, and I just cleaned my incisions with hydrogen peroxide as per my surgeon's orders. And so now that she gave me the go ahead, I actually wanna try these tonight for the first time because they recommend that for your first time trying them out that you wear them for about four to eight hours. So I'm getting ready for bed now. So my idea is to wear them overnight tonight and then see how I'm doing with them and if I'm not allergic to them or um, if, if I can, then you can keep them on like 24 hours a day. Um, and the packaging actually says that you can use this product on fresh scars, um, within se after seven days and on old scars, you can use them immediately and they should be worn initially for 48 hours per day for a few days. And then you can gradually increase up to 24 hours a day with a minimum of 12 hours a day for maximum results. So basically wear them minimum 12 hours a day and then work your way up um, if you can. So um, the sticky side, so this comes like a beige piece and then a clear piece. And you literally peel it off apparently. Oh yeah. And then this sticky side, you can see it's sticky. That is the side that goes on your scar. So I'm literally gonna do this for the first time with you guys. So I don't claim to be an expert at this, but I'm following the instructions. So I'm literally gonna start it on my little doggy ear area, and I'm gonna work my way across. Sorry, I just got a quick call there from the plastic surgeon's office. She wants me to jack up my boobs even more, so I have to tighten these straps. They like to see them like way up high in the air. Um, okay guys, so I've done most of them. I just have one little patch left, so I'm actually gonna cut this piece. So one pack, basically did my whole incision with just a small piece left over. So if I wanted to use this on my breasts, which I'm not allowed to use on my breasts yet, I'm only allowed to use it on my tummy tuck incision. But if I wanted to, I'd have to get another pack. So I think I'll go ahead and order another pack of these. Um, just so that I have enough for everywhere. And you know what, with these last little pieces, I'm wondering Maybe I should do my little drain site and my belly button. I'm gonna do it. My belly button's healing so nicely. I love how it's healing. All the scars and the, the scabs are all on the inside. So I don't really know what this will do because it can't really reach the inside scars and there's really nothing on the outside, but I'm gonna put it on the outside there anyhow. 
and I'll put these, this last little piece, I'll cut into two and I'm gonna put them over my drain incisions to help those heal nice too. One thing I cannot wait to do when I'm allowed, which is probably not for a while, is I can't wait to get laser hair removal on my pubic area um, with the whole Mons area lifting from surgery and like that hairline coming up so high, like I feel like that's gonna be a necessity. So there you go, guys. Those are the, these uh, scar uh, silicone strips that I got off of Amazon. They were like $30. And one pack just did my belly button, my drain sites, and my entire tummy tuck incision from hip to hip. So that is that. So let me give you an update. So week three versus week four. I feel like week four has been a huge change um, in terms of my shape and in terms of my scar healing. Um, and I'm going to say that I think it has a lot to do with this new garment. As much as I hate this new garment because it's all hooks and it's a huge pain in the butt to put on, as you'll see. Oh, I almost forgot to put my lipo foam in. Um, I feel like all this additional compression that I've had this week has really helped with my swelling and my contouring, and as a result, has allowed um, a much better result. So, if you are four weeks post op, and you are still significantly swollen all the time, if you're still in pain, I should also mention, like I'm not in any pain anymore. Like I hardly ever take Tylenol. I don't remember the last time I took Tylenol, definitely not in the last couple of days. Um, generally speaking, feeling really, really good. So if you are four weeks post-op and you still are very swollen and you're still in pain, you may wanna reassess your compression garment now. The surgeon's office would like to see me go down another size again on my garment. I do have another even smaller garment already ready to go. Um, but I tried yesterday and it's like legit, like at least four inches off from being able to fit. So I can't see myself ever fitting into that garment, although that would be super awesome if I did. Um, so in the meantime, I am adding the liposuction foam to help with contouring as well as to give me that extra compression and to help fill this garment out more. And you can tell your garment needs to be changed when you start getting folds. And for me, it's hard to see right now, but I'm starting to see some folds in my back area. And I mean, I'm washing my garment every other day um, and putting it in the dryer to re-shrink it and to, um, make it just that much tighter. And I mean, this is tight. You can see how difficult it is for me to even do this up. Like, it takes all my energy and it's such a pain in the butt. Every time I go to the washroom, every time I shower, every time I wanna, you know, just check on things, it's literally a mission. But I think this garment has helped in week four with my overall results. So for that, I thank you, Garment. Okay, guys, today I'm actually wearing underwear with it. I sh um, if you're wondering what I just did all there, I posted a video the other day about how I wear my garment and I showed you a ridiculous version of me wearing it with shorts underneath, which to be honest with you, I really need to do sometimes because I get a lot of chafing here. But today I'm just wearing it with a lower cut pair of underwear because I have those scar sheets on now, so I want to keep those safe. So there you go, guys. Week four, still shrinking, starting scar um, therapy treatment with these silicone scar sheets. I'll let you know how those work. I'm taking lots of pictures every day of my scars, and every day I see more and more improvements, which is awesome, and I'll let you know what I think about these scar sheets. For my stomach, for the breasts, I'm not really doing very much right now other than starting to introduce that second bra and Jennifer called me and says she wants me to jack up my boobs even more. So I'm gonna go downstairs and get my husband to tighten these straps because I actually physically can't reach them enough to tighten them anymore. But this is four weeks post-op. Oh, one more thing. Because this garment is getting a little bit big, 
um, for their taste. And because I can't get into the next size smaller, they want me to start adding this over top to give it even more compression. Now, this one that I got off of Amazon is great. It was only 20 bucks, but it's not quite tall enough for my abdomen. You'll see that if I wear it low to cover my incision area, then it's not really giving me compression here. And then I'm getting a bit of a, of a muffin top there. But then if I pull it up to give me more compression in my upper back area, I'm not getting it in my lower abdomen. So I actually might end up returning this one off of Amazon, although I like it a lot, because I think I actually need one that's a little longer for my torso. So um, I'll share with you which one I end up getting, but I'm gonna look for one that will go from right under my breast all the way down to my hip area, just so that I have absolute full compression and so that eventually this whole area smoothens out really nicely because the last thing you want is to end up with a muffin top and as you guys will see I'm already kind of getting that in my armpit area like all of the squeezing is going into my armpit so I was given the green light to start exercising my lower body and my upper body a little bit um, so I'm allowed to do some leg workouts I'm allowed to do a little bit of um, you know, ab work if it feels comfortable. I'm allowed to start exercising my arms, but they don't want me putting any extra stress though on my boobs. So I am allowed to do a little bit of arm workout. So I think I'm gonna go pick up some um, like 10 pound weights maybe, and I'm gonna uh, start venturing into a little bit of exercise, which is scary, um, but something that needs to be done. So anyhow, guys, this is four week post-op, lots of progress. Um, lots of new little things that I am allowed to start doing and every week is getting better and better. Thanks for checking in.